Hello and welcome everyone. I am Linda Israel and thank you so very much for being here at my live stream on YouTube. I go live every Monday at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time unless I'm on vacation or something else comes up but generally I'm live or I have a premiere video that you can come and watch. If you're watching this as a replay after the live stream has ended and you're on a computer, you can look for the little gear at the bottom of the screen and change the speed. If you're on a mobile device, generally the little three little dots at the top, you can use those to change the playback speed to get through a little faster because generally my live streams last around two to two and a half hours. I want to thank Robin for being my ad moderator and administrator and note taker throughout the live stream. She is generally my one uh, right hand woman, if you will, and I am so thankful to have her. She also is an administrator of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Occasionally, if she's not available, one of the other administrators will come over and help me or a friend will help me moderate the video today. If you have questions, please feel free to put those in all caps and I'll do my best to answer those questions. If I don't see it, please ask again. Or if you know the answer to somebody's question, please answer it. Hey, if you have a YouTube channel, please feel free to share with us by saying, hey, I have a YouTube channel and this is what I do on it. You won't be able to share a link, but you can at least talk about your YouTube channel. Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. If you are having a great day, let us know. But honestly, we don't want the negative what is going on in the world right now because we are here to escape that, to be inspired, to be friendly, and have some fun. During the live stream, you have an opportunity to earn junk bucks. You can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have once Junkie Joe is up, because this is preliminary and I've pre-recorded this. Once you have 2,000 junk bucks, you can redeem those by typing a ward and you can get a $10 off coupon to my shop. How do you earn junk bucks? Just by being here, chatting with us. So make sure that you speak up in the chat so that Junkie Joe registers that you're here and by playing the in chat games and then also whenever you make donations occasionally i have raffles in fact right now there should be junkie joe coming up you can type exclamation point raffle just as that says and you can enter the raffle to win 200 junk buck if you make a donation during my live stream do go over to my website at lindaisrael.com. You can see the name scrolling across the bottom here and create a user account. Once you've created a user account on my website, make sure that you use the contact me form and say, hey, my name is on YouTube and I donated. And then I can get you added to the YouTube donator membership on my website. What does that do? Well, a member of my website in the YouTube donator membership gets 5% off orders in my shop, gets several digital downloads for free, and during the live stream when you donate, you get a chance to win the journal that I raffle off at the very end. Throughout the live stream, I will have different raffles giving away prizes. If you will type exclamation point raffle when you see those come up, then you can have a chance to win those items. We're going to get started here in just a moment. Thank you so much for being here today. When the video is over, come back and leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about today's video, or if you have questions and you're watching this as a replay, use that comment section down below. Also, look in the description box to links to the Friendly Junk Journal paper people Facebook group as well as by Linda Israel my Instagram Twitter my website and generally I try to update the products that I use and those links are in the description box as well all right well let's get started
Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? Are we here? Are we live? <laughs> I'm wearing a different pair of glasses. I may end up changing back to my other glasses. My mother-in-law got me these glasses. Can you see them? Here, let's, let's, uh, you can see them. You see my glasses that my mother-in-law gave me? They have bling on them. <laughs> she goes to a little place to buy her makeup. Uh, it's called Merle Nerman, and the little shop sells other things, clothing and knickknacks and apparently reading glasses, and so she buys them for me when she sees some, especially if they're on sale. <laughs> So last week we did some mixed media stuff and I thought we would kind of continue on and finish out what I started last week. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're alive. So glad you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've had a bit of a, a rough week. I was telling Robin I've been suffering from headaches all week. So I had planned to do some traveler notebooks today. <clears throat> And I printed a bunch of stuff Saturday afternoon when I was doing my workshop. We were, did a gel printing workshop Saturday. And then we left there and we had dinner with some friends. And we stayed up a little late Saturday night. And Sunday I just crashed. I, I couldn't do a whole lot. I was just so tired and a headache and I was just like oh my gosh so I uh, didn't get everything done that I wanted to I did get a few things started oh here it is I didn't think where I put it so I've oh that's not it where is the rest of it oh here it is so I got I got a few things put together and I've got some ideas but I just I just didn't have enough time and felt bad so I didn't didn't get it all done <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm gonna try to do this and I have one little idea that I would shut thought I would share so during the live last week I showed using embossing powder embossing it and then I used a paper punch to make these two little elements I also did some embossing on a uh, some of the paper that we created last week. So I'm going to set this one aside because I think it's pretty much done. And then I went through my stash and I, I happen to have one sheet of 12 by 12 glitter cardstock. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'll be ready to go for another week, Robin. Exactly. I've, I've, I got quite a little bit of little things done, but it wasn't quite enough. So I know there's a few more things I want to prepare for next week. So I went in and I punched some little hearts and I thought maybe, you know, adding the hearts to these little cards would be good. So let's do that real fast. And if you don't have a heart punch, well then just draw one on a scrap of paper and then trace it and cut it out. I was just trying to use my tools that I had. So there's one journal card. And then this big one, I thought it'd be good with the bigger heart there. You missed la last week, Barbara. Well, you have to go back and see how I made these mixed media papers that I used to make these cards and elements. Okay, there's another. So I'm going to put this in a pile here. So then I went through my stash and I had some chip board, not chipboard, paint chip samples. And then these were some of the leftover pieces. And I think last week what we did was we went around the edge. Oh, I've got another heart here. I was going to put a heart on here. And I added a little bit of some acrylic paint. So let me see if I can find. So I just added that heart. Let me find some acrylic paint. So probably purple so that it will stand out. <clears throat> so I've got some purple. I'm going to get a little paintbrush. And it's hot here. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, drawing hearts is easy. Exactly. 
So I've got some acrylic paint and I'm just going to go right down this edge and just kind of add. These glasses are a different strength than what I'm used to, but I had to wear them because my mother-in-law gave them to me. I may save them from, for when I'm uh, watching television because I don't always need to see stuff up close. Okay, I just kind of made a mess there. <clears throat> oh, it's getting hot here. We uh we do that here in Oklahoma. They have smart hours for your energy. And so during the day from 2 p.m. till 7 p.m., you are to conserve energy. And normally I'm at work Tuesday through Friday. So we did opt for that um, energy savings because it does save money. You got to save money where you can. But I have to turn the heat or the air up and then it, it gets hotter in here. And um, right now, the I can feel the temperature rising. I got a ceiling fan on me going. Okay, so there's that piece. I want to lay that there. And since I've got my paint out, I know I want to do that again to these other two pieces. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So maybe you didn't have a scrap of paper to make a mat. You've got some acrylic paint that you use to make your mixed media papers. Well, you can just go around the edges and add a little bit of a, a mixed media border, if you will. <clears throat> I don't know if the distressed glitter is an embossing powder, um, Robin, or if it's just chunky, distressed glitter, so you just use it like regular glitter. I don't think I have any. I know I had some of the distressed um, paint, and I think I had some distressed embossing powder, so it kind of had this crackled look to it when you use it. Yeah, okay, so uh, <clears throat> Margie says she thinks it has chunks that don't stick, so you want to shake it really well, so it just gives it that distressed look. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Okay. It takes, you know, all this concentration. I had a pretty weird week. We, um, in our business, if y'all didn't know, I print transfers and I sell the transfers to a lot of shops. And so a transfer, think of it like a glorified iron on image, but we use a heat press because an iron doesn't give you enough consistent pressure and heat, so it's commercialized. And our printer, that is fairly new, has been giving me headaches. <clears throat> and so last week, I was trying all kinds of things to get it to work properly. And on Friday, I finally got some parts that were sent to me to hopefully fix the issue and they sent a guy to help us well come to find out this guy just works for another shop down the road so to speak he's friends with the owner that I bought my printer from and he didn't really know as much as even I did on some things <laughs> so he tried to fix my printer did a couple of things and then he said well I have to leave and it wasn't fixed so I was like, well, okay, how about you leave a couple of these things with me? There were some uh, O-rings, little rubber O-rings, and my husband and I will see if we can fix it. And he's like, well, okay, if that's what you want to do, fine. 
so he did. And so he left and I was like, I'm glad he's gone <laughs> because he wasn't any help. I told Henry, I said, okay, Henry, here's what I want you to help me do. <laughs> so I gave him the instructions. So let's do this. Let's see if we can fix it. So we did one, um, parts replacement, which includes the O-ring. This is still a little wet. So I'm going to dry it my heat tool. And it didn't fix the problem. He said, well, the next thing is this piece of tubing that has to be replaced. That's what they told me. And that other guy was going to come back today to fix it. And so I said, I, let's see if we can do it. So we looked at how it's put together. And then we went ahead and um, pulled the old one out. And he put the new one in. And we did some things to get the printer started, and it worked. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And then there was one other issue that they sent a part for. So I got that first part done, and then here's the second part. So, okay, Henry, this is what we got to do. And, oh no, what happened? Okay, got it. I guess I hit the, uh, the <laughs> feed. <laughs> and so he, he worked on that part, and... We replaced it, and so then I did a test, and I'm like, it works! It's like, oh my gosh, it works, it works! <laughs> so, I got my printer back working, but it took a couple hours of working on it. And now, now we're experts, right? <laughs> we, don't, we don't need a technician, we can just do it ourselves. <laughs> How many of you have ever experienced where you've got a problem, and... You have an expert come, and the expert really isn't that good. <laughs> and you know more than they do. <laughs> I don't think I have enough weight on that one. So I'm going to do this again. No problems. All right, so I'm going to put glue across this one. I think I'll just kind of stack it for a moment. I probably should have used the Fabri-Tac glue. I wasn't paying attention. So maybe I should go ahead and do that on this one because then it'll stick better. All right, how is everybody doing? Y'all doing all right? Uh, Margie said she's alive, so I'm glad you're alive. I got to spend a little bit of time with my father-in-law. I Like I said, I didn't do a whole lot yesterday, but I did get up early and we went to a garden center because there was some plants he wanted. But when he went the day before, the checkout line was really, really long. And he had been walking a lot, so his back and his legs were hurting him. So he just got in his car and came home. And he said, well, and I also I wasn't really sure because I couldn't read the plant tags. His eyesight isn't the greatest so I shouldn't probably be driving even, but he said, I, I think this is what I want. Will you go with me and read the plant tags? <laughs> I said, sure. So I went and he said, well, is there anything you want? I said, well, there was, I, I want to look, I have a budget. I don't want to spend too much money. And so I found some plants and I was like, well, that's $2 more per plant that I really wanted to spend, but I'm only buying four plants. I'll get them. And so we get to the checkout, and I tell the guy checking us out, I say, okay, put these four together that were for my father-in-law, and these four are for me. And my father-in-law says, nope, I'm getting those. I'm like, well, okay then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I decided to, to help him out. I said, well, if you'll stop by the house, my house, I'll get my gloves and my apron, because I didn't want to get really dirty, and I'll plant your four plants for you. He says, well, I won't turn down the help. <laughs> I said, okay. So he uh, he took, took me to the house, and I got my uh, gloves, and I got my apron, and then we drove to his house, 
and then I was able to plant his plants and then I came home and I stuck my plants on the porch and went inside and crashed. <laughs> okay, so these were mixed media papers that I made last week and I just cut them into strips and these are paint chips and these are going to be pockets and I punched this glitter paper and I thought it would be kind of cute if I put some paper behind it and then put it down and I didn't do it on this one but I think I want to on this one I'm gonna get the henna rose and we were just talking about embossing powder so I'm gonna go ahead and get my embossing ink in my embossing powder get this open Jennifer's not here is she I have to yell her y'all didn't even see my nails before I got them all dirty <laughs> You get a scrap of paper. I just saw one here. Let's see this one. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to stamp with my Versamark, which my pad is dirty because I don't care. It's not clear. And I'm going to stamp it. Let's put it kind of right in the middle. And I'm going to stick that in the embossing powder. Okay, so I got that done and I will put away the embossing powder so I don't make a big mess. Put my ink pad away. Clean my stamp off. All right, let's heat this up. So remember when you're embossing that you want to get your heat tool pretty close. You want to keep moving it so that you don't burn your paper and if you have a um, plastic surface where you're heating you'll want to get it off of that you can use a baking sheet or a piece of glass or something but try not to do it on plastic and then don't breathe in the fumes I don't care what brand embossing powder is it's probably not a wise idea to breathe in the fumes so try to keep it away from your face Whoop. and don't touch it while it's hot okay uh, Robin said her electricity just popped off hey Jennifer oh yeah my electricity flickered here too so must be something going on you know I Julie, I have done some Bible journaling. Um, if you're talking about art journaling, it's been a while. Generally, I just write in my Bible. <laughs> I don't really do the art, uh, Bible art journaling. Um, I've got the supplies. I bought a, spe a special Bible so that I could do that, and I haven't really sat down to do it. One of these days, I'll sit down and, and play with it. How's that? So just kind of adding the embossing to it. I'm wearing, these are, I don't know what you call it. Um, they're, I got three different colors, in, including the paint. But they were a pale, pale pink with black. And then I did some gold foil or flakes like gold gold leaf that's what I was trying to say gold leaf across it so that's the ones I'm wearing okay so now I'm gonna take this piece I think I need to add some distress inks to it so I think I showed y'all that I I cut the tops off of some HP instant boxes so that I could keep my inks a little better organized I ended up putting my distressed walnut stain in this little box with my dauber and just right now I have the black one in here and that's my archival ink re-inker and then this this one has the big black and then some of my re-inkers so that I keep it all nice and neat because sometimes if I don't get them closed they have a tendency to leak that's why there's paper towel in there to help soak up the leaks 
I can't decide if I should um, line the insides of these with some pretty paper or just paint it so it doesn't see the blue. And then I've also used some of these boxes over here on the side for my tattered angels and I'm really contemplating if I want to decorate the fronts of each box. I've already kind of stuck some sticky notes on some of them. So like this has blue tattered angels glimmer mist but I want to make uh, proper tags. So I was playing around with my um, punch, uh, uh, what do you call this thing, the Dynamo Dyn label maker, and I made this little label, and I thought, well, I may want to do something like make little faux labels to put on here. I don't know. What do you think? Paint the inside and decorate the outside. Okay, I see. I see you say that. <laughs> so that, that may become one of those things that I'm sitting here one day and I'm just not inspired and I sit down and decorate my boxes. So what color should I paint them? That's what I got to think of. You know, what color... Do I want to paint them? All right, so I'm just kind of putting these together. So I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, like this one would go with that one. And maybe what I'll do is put the heart on that side. And then that way you have a pocket and a journal card that goes together. And, you know, while we're at it, let's just kind of, whoopsie. Yeah, let's just make this a tuck spot. That way, if we have a little something that we want to stick in there, we can. So we could put something in there if we want, and then this would go behind. And I like having the opposites. Should I put a word on here, maybe? How about just the word journal? We can do that. My favorite color, Julie? <laughs> yes, poor Robin, her electricity. How about if we just put the word journal right there on that? I think that looks good. Okay. All right, let's put it right about there. All right, so now we've got that one put together. So I'll put that in the pile. These, I didn't make a little frame, so I was just thinking maybe just gluing the heart directly onto. I kind of like that in the circle there. So I'm going to put that one in the circle and put the other one on the side. <clears throat> pops off every time this time of the day that's probably because of the usage everybody's coming home and the draw to the power or color you want as the theme of my see that's just it Julie I don't have a color in my studio um, it's called hodgepodge <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know I'm kind of thinking or leaning towards maybe white or ivory and with pink and or teal accents maybe what I could do is um, paint them all ivory or white and then make little labels that are pink and uh, turquoise colors maybe I don't know so then these can go in those pockets. And we'll, we'll save the text to put on there. So two more things that I thought of. I had 
some more chipboard pieces, and then I had a couple of the um, hearts cut out. I thought, well, why don't we turn these into tags, just simple little tags. So I think I have, I thought I had a piece of coffee dyed paper that was a scrap. Oh, well, you know what? This will work. This is a book page, so we can use that on the back to provide writing space. You'll still slightly see the text from the paint ship, but it'll be covered up so you can write on it. I have no walls. I have walls. They're covered with shelves. <laughs> Um, I, when I started putting my studio space together and I would watch videos and I would look at photographs of other people's studios and they were, you know, had cabinets and drawers, but they weren't using any vertical space. And I'm like, I have way more stuff than they do. <laughs> so I started putting shelves around my studio so that I could get stuff up and I can see a lot of the things. Um, but I also feel like I'm at a point now that I'm trying to go through what I have in my room and find a use for it and or get rid of it. So I'm slowly trying to get rid of stuff. I did go through a couple of my cubby holes behind me um, and I found a bunch of music, sheet music, song books, hymnals, and they were in different places. So I kind of reorganized those and put them all in one cubby so I knew where they were. What else do I put on here? I wonder if this is too big. Follow your heart. Well, we could put it below like that. Maybe add some distress inks to that. Calax? What's Calax? I know I have a window, but my window is covered. I have a, a shelf unit right in front of it. Whenever they came to do my filming for That's Clever, the television show, they told me to put a window covering up so that you couldn't tell if it was day or night because they would be here all day filming and they didn't want part of it to show, you know, daylight and part of it to show nighttime. You like that, Robin? Keep it simple. I'm just using the Fabri-Tac glue so that this will stick to the paint chip. I put it down low. I'm going to go ahead and put it at the bottom. Ah, square spaces. Okay, gotcha. Ikea units. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I have some of those. Not the name brand, but I have the little square little units. I think I have, do I have one? I have one that's all squares, and then I have another that's just a shelf. Okay. All right, so I've got those made. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Just kidding. All right, so we're going to glue this down even with the edge and then just trim them. So I'm going to go ahead and add glue to the backs of these. If you don't want to see this text at all, you could layer multiple pieces of paper. You could paint the back of the paint chip so that it doesn't show through on the paper. Okay, and we'll do the other side.
You wish you had gone with Calyx instead of the Michaels cubes, Jennifer. In your new studio space? Why? Why did you not like the Michaels cubes that you have? I, I'm always interested to hear what, you know, what is it about your studio would you change? If I could change something about my studio, I'd completely empty it <laughs> and start over. <laughs> and get stuff that match or at least make it look like it matches I have a lot of white shelves that I installed that are kind of like the Michael shelves but I got them at Hobby Lobby or not Hobby Lobby um, where did I get them oh Target and Walmart many years ago all right so let's go here Kind of cutting off that excess so there's the back you can kind of see the paint ship information but I think it'll be fine okay clean that off so I'm going to go ahead and add some distress ink to the back You could add some decorative touches to the back, too, if you wanted. Maybe I'll get out a stamp. Let's see if I can find. You always thought the bold colors? Well, and that may be what I should do, is I've got white for a lot of things. You know, this these cabinets up here behind me are metal, and they are an off-white ivory. And what I would love to do is maybe spray paint those bright pink or bright purple or teal. And that may be what I do is just um, one of these days I get a, a wild hair, you know, wild hair, and uh, <laughs> take everything out of my room and just start painting stuff. You want a barn living space upstairs with an elevator and downstairs the crafting space. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I've got one more little thing here. Um, I was trying to use up all of the scraps. <clears throat> and so this was um, a paper sack that I had glued some scrap paper to the side that had printing on it. And then this is the plain side. And then I thought, well, I could add... A couple of these little tear-off notepads. You can have writing space. And then I guess I need to find out. Oh, let's maybe get a couple of pieces of, maybe I get a piece of coffee dyed paper. Or even some of my dyed paper that I made. Never kiss your cat in the summer. Ugh. <laughs> The Ikea pieces are just so much better. Oh, quality. Okay, gotcha. Just just the quality. I can see that. I can see that. They're, they're mass-produced, cheaply made. I'm just kind of adding some distress inks to my pieces here because I had an idea, and I was going to show you all my thoughts. So this was a piece that was left over. And I thought I'd kind of make a little mini journal. So I've got this little piece. And I'm just thinking, just glue it right in the middle. Well, wait. We should stamp it, shouldn't we? We should. We really should, Linda. All right, let's get, let's get the henna rose out. And we'll get some black ink and just kind of stamp it in the corners. That looks good, doesn't it? Okay, let's put that on here. Oh yeah, your your kitty cats. How are they doing, Robin? Are they getting along better? 
since Raja got his snip snip. <laughs> And I, I had to tell you that there's more kittens at the shop. Um, there's a, a female cat that we call Penny. I don't remember why, but Henry decided to call her Penny. And she doesn't come to us, but she doesn't run away. And if we offer her food, she'll stick around. Well, she's had kittens, and she's barely, she's probably right at a year old. So she's had kittens, and she brought them out last week. And so Henry saw them and started going out there and talking to her and the kittens, and then started reaching down and just petting them whenever they got close enough. And then I would go out there and pet them, and so then we started putting food out for them. So there's more kittens, so we're hoping that if we keep socializing with them, that when they're old enough to be taken from Mama, from Penny, that we'll be able to find a home for them. You know, no more cats. <laughs> well, one of them is a Siamese color. One of them is completely black like Wally. One of them, I, I want to say he looks like a Holstein cow. He's black and white spots. Um, and then the other one is black with a white snippet up his nose. And he's got white paws. He's quite cute. All right, so there's one little piece. I think I saw, oh, I've got this piece of paper. We could use that as a page. Maybe a shorter, maybe a shorter piece. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if this works. Did I get out blue? No, I got out teal. So here's a these were pre-cut because I had made some specialty journals a long time ago, so I've been trying to use it up. This is my my coffee dye stack. <laughs> coffee dyed and dyed paper. So maybe a coffee dyed. So that would give us one, two, three, four, five. Let's get one more sheet maybe. Let's see what I got here. I've got an avocado dyed page. Why not? I think that'll work. I think that'll be good. Six kind of pieces of paper. Okay. Y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already. All right, so my paper, this was some watercolor paper that I had in my stash, and I had actually cut these pieces up to make a different journal a while back. So here's what I'm thinking. If I cut these to be the same length. So these are nine and a half inches. I'm just going to go just a little bit shorter than nine and a half inches. And I'll go ahead and cut all of these while I'm at it. That way they're done. Turn this around. All right, so we've got those three. I'm thinking on these, instead of cutting it, maybe I'll make a little pocket. So I'm going to score it and fold it. And then when we fold this over, we'll have, we can either have this as a little flip out or we can make that a little pocket. How's that sound? Oh yeah, and how's your puppy? Uh, Jennifer got a new puppy. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I'm not done. I was going to do this. I was going to score these. So my journal height, it needs to be 
It's six and a quarter, so I'm going to go six inches. And let's score this. And then we'll end up having additional little pockets in our journal. So six inches and score. Do this again. And score. All right, so I'm getting all of these little pieces ready to go. Get rid of my paper cutter here. I'll fold this over. So sometimes I make my pockets, this is a thin paper, but I think it'll be okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue down the sides here. Liesel? Is that right? Liesel? Liesel? And, and why that name? What was, what was that uh, significance of that name? Does it mean something? Hey, Julie came back. Okay. And let's do this one. All right, so we'll let those dry for a moment. And then I think, I'm kind of thinking going ahead and just making that a little tuck spot there. I may, I hate, you know what, Robin, I may give away this little journal that I'm making right now. Just a simple little journal. And Margie, thank you so much for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. You are amazing. You're a doll. Okay, so got that one folded. Let's go ahead and fold this one. Kind of alternate them. And then this one's folded. Okay. All right, so we got this piece. I think, do we want that? We'll have that be the first page. And then let's do the avocado dyed paper and maybe this printed, oh wait, let's do this blue. And then the blue and then let's do the copy dyed paper and we'll put this in the middle. So that'll be our innards of our, yeah, everybody's eligible. It'll just be a little journal today. So then I had these pieces that I thought would look really good on the front, but this was white, bright white. So let's make some changes to that. So do we want to make it purple so the pink will stand out? Or do we want to do this kind of a, a teal color? Try to decide. I've got dusty Concord here. Oh, that doesn't even have a. <coughs> Pardon me, didn't have the pad on the back. Well, this one does. I was going to use my Distress Ink uh, blending tool. It's 
not as bright purple as I thought it would be. Okay, so maybe this is what I'll do. I'll add it. Oh, Roger got the fly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there is a fly in here. <laughs> I just saw it when you said that. Okay, so that was kind of this color. I think maybe. Let me get some uh, tattered angels out. Maybe. Do I want a purple? See what I got here. I have dried lavender. That's a pale purple. I have fully purple and pop rocks. So let me get my box out. So how about if we mix the two? So I'm going to shake these up. Okay, named her Liesl because she's the oldest daughter from The Sound of Music. Okay, gotcha. Does she sing? <laughs> All right, so let's just kind of spray this. I didn't need to spray in the middle, but I just did. I'm just cleaning the Tattered Angels off of my fingers. Let's use a heat tool on it. This was watercolor paper that I had cut to be a journal cover in a sense. Okay. That may have bled through, but that's okay. So that kind of gives us a whole different look, doesn't it? I'm thinking we should go ahead and stamp around the edges. And since we used the henna rose, we'll use that again. Pencil downs. She sings like a tornado siren. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm just kind of going around the edge. I'll go ahead and go around the back as well. There. And then I thought the little heart would look good. And then follow your heart. How's that? Like that layered look? So let's glue it together. All right, let's put that down. And then let's glue this into place. Three AM pet fun. Oh my goodness. Hercules last night got up to get a drink of water. And when he come back to bed, it's a king size bed. But he has to walk from my feet up to my waist from the foot of the bed and then lays down next to me. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, dog? And he doesn't just, you know, tiptoe. He stomps. And he only weighs like, you know, 10 pounds. I 
Okay, I like that. All right, then I want to place this to where it's kind of lined up. I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac glue. All right. Junkie Joe's just like, okay, whatever, y'all don't want to play. All right, so I'm going to kind of line that up here. And then I'll glue it down. Okay, that looks good, doesn't it? So that's how I use some of these mixed media papers. <laughs> you're all you're all cold <laughs> okay so then these will go in here so let's look at this is this how we want it you'll have this page you've got a pocket page this page pocket here there's a pocket there and then this page I think that'll I think that'll work all right so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get it all lined up Unless you think I should add a um, couple of book pages, but I think this looks pretty good. I'm just putting some clips on it, getting out my tools to bind it. I think that's, oh, that might work. Okay, I'm going to poke three holes, my template will catch the smaller pages in the middle, silly auto corrupt, <laughs> bunny slippers, Henry had some slippers that were, I can't remember if they were lions, I think they were lions, and when our foreign exchange student stayed with us and she saw them. She said, I had to have those. So she wore them the whole time <laughs> she was here. Henry didn't get to wear them. All right, I'm just doing a pamphlet stitch. Three stitches or three holes and the stitches go through those holes. Okay, and then we'll go like this, tie that off, all right, trim that, put these back up here. Thank you Robin for those clippies you gave me, all right, put that back. Okay, so that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So we've got these little pages. So let me stamp my stamp that says this journal made by. Let's do it uh, up here at the top. And let's sign it. And this is six, 26 of 2023. 
All right, so we want to add some stuff to it, or do you want me to make a different one? I've got some stuff laying out here just to make a bigger one. I'm just looking to see what I had laying here. Pope, Pope, now just y'all into the raffle if you hadn't already. I kind of like how this turned out. Oh man, I got tired all of a sudden. Oh. There's a paint chip we could put in there. Oh, well, we've got these paint chips. I'll just use one of these. I already got it decorated. But let's find something else to go in the other pockets. I had... I had some little journal cards here somewhere. I moved stuff. Oh, I've got this purple paper. And I've got this pinky paper. Let's make something out of those. Okay. Ah, it's the 27th there, because you're a day ahead. All right, so these are, this is five inches tall, so if I make four by five, yeah, because then I can get three, and those would fit in here. Okay, good. So I'll do another. And then let's do, let's just make these four inches as well. Okay, so we got those. I've got this little piece. We could uh, cut some one inch strips to add them to this. I think it's gonna do, I'm gonna cut some one inch strips. One. Two, three, let's see, can we get two, right at two, so there's two, and that would go one, I think I'm going to need to either do them across the top, yeah let's do that, we'll do them across the top, so I just need one, two, Oh, I think I have enough. Let's let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, I like that. And then this one. I think that'll work. I won't have to use my paper cutter. I can use my scissors. Use the scissors. This was a book page that I painted. That should fit right on there. And then we've got to do these two. I'm sorry I had you yawning. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was just, it just hit me all of a sudden. Okay, I think those will look good. And look, I have a little bit left over. Maybe I'll find something else. Okay, so let's put these together. I'm going to add some distress inks to the edges. I need to clean my hands. I feel like they're, they're dirty. Okay, so these should all be the same size. It doesn't really matter. And what I'm going to do is go around all the edges. I feel like I should probably add a little bit of ink to my ink pad. Let me make sure I got the right bottle. Yeah. Almost out. 
of reinker. I got to buy another one or put it on my wish list. Okay, here we go. So I just put a little bit on there and give it a moment to kind of soak in. I need some water, probably. I, I was thirsty here. We'll just do this. <clears throat> Tragic noises? Traffic noises, maybe? <laughs> Maybe it, maybe it's traffic noise. <laughs> so I'm just stacking all of those strips one on top of the other because it's a thin book page and it gives it just a little bit more heft while I add the distress inks to the edges. And I think maybe, should we get out the punch and punch some hearts out of some gold glitter paper since I have some? Okay. All right, y'all get in on the raffle. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. If I just want to finish this little journal out and we're going to do the giveaway for that journal because I don't think I'm going to make it the full time today. Because <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm really tired all of a sudden. <laughs> I didn't get me a Coca-Cola. Normally I go get me a Coke right before the live stream starts or a iced tea or something with a little bit of caffeine. But I didn't do that today. Okay, I got all those pieces. So let's go around these. Gets it a little darker when you use your Distress Ink free inked. Margie, I'm sorry, I had to laugh. So Julie says there was tragic noises in the background, which she really meant they were traffic noises. And Margie thought she said she thought she heard someone being murdered in the background. <laughs> and how would that sound like? Describe for us sounds that you would associate with someone being murdered. <laughs> oh dear <laughs> welcome 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 thanks for hanging out with me today I know it's kind of odd <laughs> ah, you're just kind of crafting with me a little bit maybe and you know sometimes it's just good to just play with some supplies and I'm trying to use up a few things oops I got a big blob there that time uh, that I've had for years. I, well, my friend that I had dinner with on Saturday, it's kind of funny because she got me connected to a couple of people who were getting rid of a bunch of, at that time, their scrapbook paper supplies and craft supplies. Um, one lady, um, she was a hoarder of craft supplies and she moved to a apartment and brought all of her craft supplies that she thought she wanted and her apartment was full she had no more room so she still had a huge bedroom that was full of stuff and i went over there and i filled my car up for free they, she was just gonna throw it away they were gonna put it in a dumpster so i filled my car up where there was only room for me to drive home. <laughs> the passenger seat, the whole car was full from the bottom to the top. <laughs> and then she hooked me up with another person who was getting rid of their supplies. So I ended up with a ton of scrapbook paper and I've been trying to use a little bit up here and there. And that's where these came from. Hoarder? Yes. <laughs> Craft hoarder. 
<laughs> Say it isn't so. All right, so I think I was just noticing this has the where the glue from the scrap paper pad was on it. And I don't, it's I don't like the way it feels, so I was trying to scrape it off. So what if we put these here? And then I think this goes up and down that way. So I'm wondering if I should put on the sides on these. Kind of like that. Can I see those? So do we want to punch a little heart or a big heart? I have to go get them. Because I think I put them up. We could do a little heart on that one. So let me get it. Uh, thank you so much, Suzanne, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So we need six. I'm kind of thinking the bigger heart should go on those and the little heart should go over here. And I have a scrap, so I think maybe I can get away with just punching the scrap. So if we put this, let me get this front and center. Well, that looks kind of cute, doesn't it? With the little heart on there like that. I think I can get away with getting them out of the scrap. Okay. Might help if I could get this poked in there. Okay, there we go. I can't cut a heart straight very well, so I like using punches. <laughs> Thank you so very much. You have a favorite gold paint? Okay, I'm going to line this up. And I think I want to use my... There we go. And then put that here. Like that. It's going to leave a little bit of space between the hearts so that if I wanted to cut this into a embellishment. I could. Ugh. Okay. You need gold paint. Oh, the purple. You like the purple and gold together? I, the, uh, this one is using the Master's Touch Antique Gold, Robin, from Hobby Lobby. Ugh. I didn't get up on it. Get up on it. All right. There we go. Cool. Set that over there. All right, let's glue this all together. Winged hearts. I might see if I have, I don't know if I have a wing per se, but maybe, hmm, I'm trying to keep it really thin 
So we're trying to decide if I want to find a, a doily maybe, or I need a paper punch where I could punch a strip. And that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I've got a, a couple of paper edgers, paper punches, and I've got some purple paper. I think we might be back. I got to get Junky Joe opened up, so give me a moment. I don't know. I looked up, and my computer wasn't moving, so I figured we were locked up. <laughs> Waiting on Junky Joe. This is the paint, Robin. Antique gold. Master's touch. I need I need to get some myself. I'm almost out. Okay. Okay, I think we're back up. So I'm open the giveaway for 200 junk bucks. And I found this scrap of purple in my purple bin. And I don't know what I want to do, so I'm going to start with this one and see how this looks. It's one of those punches that you can line up and continue punching down the paper so it looks like a continuous piece. Okay. Trying to go all the way down to the end. Alright, so we got a little strip there. And I got my little paper pieces, so I'll get rid of those. Trash! Okay. Yeah, I think we may need to go soon. So I'm going to finish this up. And we're going to get off here. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start the raffle. And actually, I'm going to pick the winner of 200 junk bucks. And I'm going to start the raffle where I give away this little mini journal. So here's my thought. I was thinking of putting this right there. And then having the heart over that. I think that looks pretty good. I think that'll work. I got enough to do two, so I like the way that looks. Okay, so I need to do that two more times. All right, so we'll punch this, go across. Like that. Oh, this is a different punch. I just realized what I did. Well, I've started, so I'm just going to keep going. I can't see. I've got to get it lined up. I just looked. The temperature is risen in my room. Okay, go across. So now I have this little lacy bit. It's different. Punch. Yeah, this is a punch. These are from Martha Stewart, and I've probably had them for 10 years or longer. Right, so I'm just going to trim this piece off. Let's go this way. So I'm trying to decide, that's why I didn't glue this one down, if I wanted to put it where it's just peeking out or if we want to put it right below it. So peeking out or right below it. What do you think? I guess I could kind of line this up so you kind of get the idea. Okay. So... butt up underneath it or just barely peeking out. Can you tell the difference there? 
yeah, they, the, I, I've not had any problems with those punches. They did a good job whenever they sourced those, whoever manufactured her punches. I've got other punches that I would never buy that brand again. <laughs> Fiskars is one of them. Unless they finally have made some changes because they're, you know, really not as good. Casey says, peaking! Right below. I see two peaking. Mar Julie says, peaking. Robin says, right below. You know what I could do? I could do one of each. But up against, right below, that's what that would be. Yep, yep. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add some distress inks to the edges. And we'll do one of each. How's that? You don't have one punch? Well, I can understand that. They were a phase there for a while of a big fad. Um, a lot of the stores carried them, and that's why I have the ones that I have. Mainly because when Michaels had the Martha Stewart line in their shop, in their store, they would put them on sale really deep, like 50% off, and then they clearance them. That was the best deal ever. All right, so I'm going to use my glue. All right, I'm sorry. Pick the Let's pick the winner. You just have one, not one. <laughs> All right, let's pick the winner. You have one EK and one Stampin' Up! Stampin' Up! are pretty good. Yeah, they, they're expensive. The good ones like Martha's were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, punches are fun. All right, let's pick a winner. The winner of 200 junk bucks is Suzanne Roberts. Congratulations. Okay. All right, so we're going to give away one mini mixed media journal. Oops, I got the wrong screen. I can't see what y'all are saying. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these strips down. So I'm trying to just add a little bit of glue. Thank you, Jennifer, for this little bottle that you gave me. So I can put my glue in it. I greatly appreciate that. All right, let's glue that down. And then I'm going to glue this on top. You have six iris drawers full of punches. I have a few punches. I have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have five. One is a. Actually, I have six. I have six drawers full of punches. <laughs> and then I think we need to put a saying on here. You're very welcome. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the back. All right, so we're going to put this together, and I think I'm going to look for a sentiment to put on here. And we'll just save um, one of this other one. I'll do it another time so I can get off here pretty quickly. So I'll move that over there for now. I'm going to move this one over here for now. Okay, so I got this one. I'm going to put that right here. Oh, wait, I was going to put a saying on it. I forgot. I forgot what I was doing. All right, one right below, one peeking out. Coming up. <laughs> okay, there's one. And then I'll go ahead and cut this one. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the back of the mixed media book page. And then 
I'll take this, since you wanted it peeking out, I'm going to stick it on that glue and just kind of adjust it so that it's just peeking out. All right, now we'll glue this whole thing down. Okay, let's move that out. Okay, I like that. So there was peeking out. So now we're going to do just below. Keep trying to fall asleep, Barbara. Get up. Come on, get up. Everybody stand up. Put your hands over your head. Wave them around like you don't care. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying not to move too much. It's getting hot in here. All right, so now I'm going to put this right below. So you have both options. All right, so now I'm just putting that right below. Okay, and now we're going to glue down the hearts and look for sentiments, and then we're going to raffle off this little journal. Tea bag, ooh! So I'll put that right on the mixed media strip. Do this one. Okay, words, 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 words. Let's see them words. Did I put words on the front? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, how about? Follow your soul. Destiny is calling. Um, this is my story about the extraordinary. How's that? I like this little envelopes that I made out of, of all things, wax paper. Parchment paper, Julie, for you. Would be a good option. Uh, thank you so very much, Julie. Or Julie. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, Margie. Thank you all for being here today. I greatly appreciate it. Stop that heat. I kind of like having little words set aside, ready to go, especially for something like this. Okay, put this right about here. So we've got a, a pretty mixed media card. You know, it's interesting how it makes it a little bit more feminine, adding that lacy edge and pairing it with this uh, paler pink. Okay, so let's see, where do we want to put these? We got that one there. This should go here, I think, because it makes it a good statement on the page. And then we'll put this one here. And we'll put this one over here. Put this one here. And I didn't put anything in there, so I wonder, I've got some smaller cards here. Oh, 
Okay, that'll fit in there. So I've got two of those. And then I need a card for there. Yeah. So I've got another one of these. I wasn't going to use it, but I'm going to think I'll put it in the paint chip in there. So let's put something in there. Since I have a strip of this left over and where did they go? I have this piece. Where's the other one? You know what? I'm not even going to use this piece. I'm just going to use the little edge and put that on here. Wait, right, I'm going to do this side. I guess I didn't do the whole strip when I put the distress ink on it. So now I just need to do the edges of these. Don't have much of a winter. Okay. Hot, hot, hot summer. We're already at, well, it's 78 degrees in my house now. It'll get turned down at 7 o'clock, trust me. I don't live in a terrarium like a lizard. <laughs> as long as you don't move a whole lot, it doesn't feel that bad. Plus, I have a ceiling fan on. So the ceiling fan's blowing the air on me, so it kind of keeps me a little uh, cooler. Okay, so I just added distress inks to the edges of those. Get my little bit of ink, a uh, little bit of glue, and we're gonna glue this down. And then put that right here on this edge. And I may need to cut a little bit of it off, so I'll just trim it. And then look at there. That just adds a little touch, doesn't it? All right, so now i got to find the other one. Okay. Do this one. Hot, hot, hot. 122 degrees Fahrenheit? That's really hot. I mean, we have 100 days here in Oklahoma. Generally, we stay around the 90 mark when it's hot, hot, hot. But I think, I think maybe we had a summer back in the 80s where we had some 120, 115 degrees. Oh, I like that. All right, jolly into the raffle. Everybody's eligible. Let's look at what we made today, and then we'll pick a winner of this journal. All right, so I made this little journal. I had some watercolor paper that I sprayed with Tattered Angels, and I stamped around it. I did use a little bit of Distress Inks. This is a mixed media page that I made last week, so if you missed that, check out the... Uh, last week stream. This is a heart that I traced. I had a little heart chipboard heart piece go that way and I traced it onto some glitter paper and cut that out and then the follow your heart was a rubber stamp that I put on there. I didn't put anything on the inside. This was a paper sack that I glued some scrapbook paper to and then I added this little um tear off notepad that I stamped on. It kind of reminds me of stationery and I just thought bright colors. Why not? And then this was what I made today. It's a chip, a, a paint chip and I added the heart to it and the follow your heart. And then I made this today. This is using one of my mixed media papers and then adding the other embellishments. So we're not using a kit. You know, today I didn't use a digital image. These are all my uh, original pieces, if you will, and some scrapbook paper, scrapbook cardstock. This one here. These are all stamp sayings that I offer in my shop, if you were wondering. And then this one. And then the uh, avocado dyed paper. And then I signed it. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? So that was one thing we made. 
And then I made this little pocket to go with these cards from last week that I added the little glitter hearts. Here's a, another one. This was a paint chip that I decorated. There's another paint chip over that. This one I made last week, just using some of the scraps. And then I added the heart to this journal card from last week. So I've got some pieces that I can use. Yeah, fans, fans are good. Okay. How did I miss? I didn't see Julie's, what Julie said. She's apparently hot. Oh, your AC died last year? Oh, so you just do with that. Well, you're far enough north, though, Margie. Do you really get that hot where you are? Thank you, Julie. Robin says, I need about 20 fans. I just, just have two. Well, you know, that helps. Thank you so very much. We're going to pick a winner here in just a moment. Y'all enter the raffle. Uh, next week, if I feel good and I get all the stuff done, we'll do some uh, traveler's notebook size journals, which is the long skinny. The standard size traveler's notebook is 4.33 inches wide by 8.25 inches tall. Fans, sometimes. Uh, thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see if everybody's in the raffle. We have Tanya, Barbara, Connie, uh, Jennifer, Lori, Suzanne. Robin, you didn't enter the raffle. Margie, you didn't enter the raffle. Because maybe you don't want this. I don't know. If you want to win this journal, enter the raffle. Dry ice. My father-in-law has a... Is it called a swamp fan? I think it's called a swamp fan. And so you hook up a water hose to it. And when it blows, it actually mists you with water. It's generally used in a big, big shop type environment. But I know he has it. So if I ever decide to have like an outdoor barbecue over here and it's really hot, we could get that and set it up. <laughs> All right. I'm really getting a headache now. It's time to take some more Benadryl, I guess. Thank you guys for being here today. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you enjoyed seeing just a little bit of something and, and spending some time with me. I'm waiting to see if anybody else enters the raffle before I end it here. Um, you know, if you have questions... Feel free to ask. Do leave me a comment down below after this live stream is over. Letting me know what your favorite part was. And if you have suggestions of things that you would like to see in the next live stream, let me know. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I tell you, got a bit of humidity. Then they weren't so well, were they, Laurie? <laughs> <laughs> this one's dry and hot. Uh, yeah, no brain, no brain. Okay, I'm going to pick the winner. Nothing new. Alright, let's pick the winner. The winner of this little mini journal is... Da, 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 Tanya Chan! Congratulations, Tanya! I'm getting my pen ready so I can... T-O-N-I-A, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. You're very welcome, Suzanne. Thank Robin, thank you for your help. I greatly appreciate you. Um, you know, do something fun. Do something creative this week. Get in there in your little space, wherever it may be, if it's your dining room table or a cubby in the corner, or maybe you got a full-blown studio space, and make a little something. doesn't have to be elaborate. Just do something, and then do something kind for somebody else this week. You know, I tried to do stuff like go with my father-in-law and help him and say polite things to people that you see out in public and smile. 
because even though you may be in a lot of pain right now and you may not feel the best, you may be a little bit grumpy, you know, if you start smiling, if you just fake it till you make it, it's amazing how it can change how you feel just by putting a smile on your face. All right, everybody, have an amazing week. I'll see you next week. I think I'm going to go take a nap till Henry gets home. <laughs> Thank you for being here, everybody. Lots of love to you. Bye-bye.